Hello anybody, I am Alpaca Patrol, and I'm back with some more basement collection. I'm excited. Uh, so yesterday, uh, we did coil. And today, I think we're gonna do triacnid. Uh, because it seems pretty cool. And it's made by, uh, Edmund McMillan and Florian Himsel, by the way. Who are, uh, the creators of Isaac. Same like Coil, by the way. Um, I kinda wanna do this in, like, chronological order. Supposedly... Oh no, this guy's way wrong. Somebody told me that Grey Matter was the first, but, uh, obviously, Triacnid does come before it, because it does say the release date. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it does appear that, uh, that Triacnid, uh, was earlier, so... Let's try out Triacnid. Let's see, uh, let's see what's going on with that. I don't know what this game's about. Alright, cool. Instructions. Let's look at the instructions real quick. You can pick up and move the Triacnid's feet by clicking on them. Okay, I see what this is. Attached to almost any surface. You can open this Triacnid's head and help him balance with W, A, S, and D keys. Uh, track can grab onto objects, picking foot up, and right mount button, pressure guns. I remember this one. I'm just trying to get this one. I'm to get this one. I'm just trying to get Selecting foot with mouse and holding it. Wait, Triacnid can spin a web? Nice. All right. I have a feeling, though, that it's gonna it's gonna teach me how to play as I play here. So I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll with it, man, and try to figure it out as I go along. Interesting. Pancakes Eleven is there. Look at that. He's playing the Basement Collection. He's the guy that uh, that got me the Basement Collection. So thanks again, Pancakes. You are the master of disaster. Poor Triacnid. Seems like he's coming under fire from some sort of pink worm monster. Uh, I guess I'm supposed to go like that. Make sure remember, okay, left mouse button. Let's uh, achieve balance with W, A, S, and D. Alright, I see. Oh, Triacnid is a stupid bastard. I'll tell you that much. Alright. This is pretty hilarious. Uh, let's just keep moving. Yeah, let's let's just keep it, keep it going here. Alright, yeah. And he's, he's just attaching to the wall. Oh god, I messed up. I messed up terribly. Come on, middle leg. There you go. There you go. That is exactly what I like to see. Uh, let's go this way. Let's see what's up here. It appears to be some sort of gobbledygook of sorts. Oh, God! I don't know. How do I kill enemies? Do I walk into them? Let's find out. Hmm, it doesn't appear to be an enemy. I think that's actually, like, our dead mother. I wasn't really paying attention to the, uh, to the story, so sorry. If you guys did, then maybe you understand what's going on here. I sadly do not. Uh, let's, let's let's move this way. There we go. Fantastic. <laughs> this is uh, this is pretty interesting. I'm, I'm liking this so far. It's quite hilarious. All right, let's uh, let's keep going here. That should attach. Oh no! Come on. There you go, Triacnid. Fantastic. That's what I like to see. I like to see that kind of uh, hustle. I guess yeah. Let's, let's just keep walking this way like that. Yeah. We're getting the idea. I'm learning. Ever so slowly, but I'm learning. It's fantastic. <laughs> Seems to be a uh, an awkward spider walking sim so far, which I can appreciate. I do enjoy awkward spider walking sims. All right, I that's that's my score. I don't know what that means. Move your egg sack to the end of each level to complete it. Also. Looking out for lost larva, pick up your egg sack and other objects with the right mouse button. Bringing objects to your mouth and releasing it will allow you to carry things in your mouth. Okay, that's interesting. Cool, so where's our egg sack? Alright, egg sack. Let's pick this up, and let's, uh, let's put this in our mouth. Okay, fantastic. Now we're carrying... Our egg sack looks like a beard, uh, to be honest with you. So let's keep going here. Mm. No, our egg sack! Egg sack! I want you back, cause baby got back. All right, come on, let's 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 get let's get moving, Triacnid. God, you were an annoying boss in the Binding of Isaac. I will tell you that. All right, let's uh, let's pick up our egg. All right, fantastic. Let's let's attach it to our mouths again. Uh, and uh, keep moving here. Oh, damn it! We screwed up. We screwed up. Come here, come here, Eggsack. No, oh, Eggsack. There we go. Alright. Let's, uh, let's, you know, let's just move the egg sack manually. See how that works for us. No, it doesn't appear to be working, so. Let's eat our egg sack. Okay, good. Cool. We got it. Uh, Triagnid doesn't appear to be, uh, very effective at navigating green liquid. It seems. 
which you know, you'd, I, I'd be, I, I don't know why, I don't see why not, uh, because green liquid is obviously a spider's best friend, or a triacnid's best friend, I guess. Let's keep moving here. There we go, fantastic, fantastic. Not really fantastic anymore. Triacnid, don't drown. Are you gonna drown, Dragnid? I don't want you to drown. Okay, here let's 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 do this a little bit more carefully. Oh no. Okay. All right, there we go. He needs some some air to breathe. Okay, there appears to be a lot of input lag here. By the way, either it's input lag or this is just a weird mechanic in the game. Honestly, either thing seems likely. Come on, leg. Let's get moving. Here you go. Fantastic. Climb that hill. Yeah, climb. Just climb that mountain. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what I. Oh, there you go. Now you're. Now you're making progress, Triacnid. This is what I like to see. Uh, okay, yeah. There is some input lag, it seems, uh, which is being a bit of an issue. Oh wow, Triacnid, you're really. Wow, this is some heavy input lag. I don't know why that is. I apologize. All right, cool. This one should get us over the hump. I don't know if those are bad. I have to assume. All right, seems that we can't get that leg up. Is that leg just glitched? Okay, no, okay, we're good. Let's keep moving. Oh no! I think we hurt our triacnid. All right, so let's uh, let's pick up our egg and attach it to our mouth. Okay, fantastic. Let's get moving up here. Oh god, there appears to be hairs. Oh man, it looks like we're hurting our triacnid. Oh no! If you hit the spikes, it looks like you lose. All right, cool. Let's. Uh, oh god, let's start this again. <laughs> I. Oh no, Exac! Come on, Exac! Let's go. Let's go. Get moving. Hop to it, triacnid. There you go. Yeah, we're just flying now. Okay, that probably didn't feel good. I. I understand. Oh, he appears to be shaking in fear. Uh, I feel sorry for you, Triacnid. I really do. Although not really, because I hate you in the Binding of Isaac. Alright, so our exec should be down here, I would hope. There it is. Okay, fantastic. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and pick up our exec. Nope, let's pick up our exec. Here we go. It's attached to our mouths. Ah, oh, I don't think it worked again. I think it got screwed up once more, sadly. Okay, so let's, let's pick this up. Let's attach it to ourselves again. No, what the fudge? Are you kidding? Okay, well, let's uh, let's get moving. Oh, there it is. All right, got it back. Got it back, guys. Don't worry. We are fine. We just got to get Triacnid out of this green gook of nonsense. Uh, by the way, I'm not being racist. Uh, that is just a, a gook, gook, a gobbly gook, as it were. All right, come on, Triacnid. There you go. Fantastic. Now, can I just like jump him over this? Cause Getting over this stuff seems to be a big issue. Jump, 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 jump. Go, 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 go. Go, Triacnid, go. No, no, Triacnid, no. No, Triacnid, no. There you go. There you go, Triacnid. Yeah, just come on. Move that leg. Move that leg. Move that leg. Move the leg. Okay, let's keep going. Come on. All right, you can do it. Triacnid, don't fall asleep in the water! Okay, cool. We seem to have made it out. I think the hard part's over, kind of. Except we have to climb up this mountain again. Come on! Come on, Triacnid! There you go. There you go, little buddy. Come on, fella. Come on! Let's, uh... Is there any way that I could just detach this... this web? Oh, man. Doesn't look like it. Oh, yeah. That is how I do it. Okay, cool. So I guess I just have to press spacebar and I detach the web, so that's cool. Uh, come on, Triacnid. Just really slowing up the pace here. Right, let's go. Perhaps I should be walking at a more, you know, sensical method, but it doesn't appear to be working very well. Okay, come on. There you go. There you go. Fantastic. That is what I like to see. Oh, Triacnid, you are hustling now. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at how glorious you look when you're doing that kind of stuff. That is great. That is just great. Okay, so let's not try to get uh, set up here improperly like we did last time. Cool. 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 Alright, cool. 
Now these spikes that we're coming up to, that is going to be a bit of an issue. I don't know exactly how we're going to deal with that, to be brutally honest. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure exactly what we are meant to do. Okay, so let's let's g no 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 stay away from the spikes. There we go. Okay, let's 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 just do this slowly. So attach yourself, Tragnid. All right, all right. We seem to have hurt ourselves for some reason. Now, how do we get past that? I don't uh, I don't really know. I mean, no no no. Okay. All right, all right. So the spikes definitely are painful. What do we do though? Let's go around it? No! What do I do? I don't understand! I don't get it. We're gonna try this one more time, and if I fail again miserably... You know what? I'm just gonna toss this shit. Yep. Alright, so hopefully that succeeded in doing what I wanted it to do. See, we could get moving pretty quick, like this. Even though it does kind of hurt. All right, so let's let's attach ourselves and let's move just a little bit because what I want to do is I want to take our egg and I want to toss it again. Whoa! No, that didn't do exactly what I wanted it to do. Yeah, gadget. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That that's a that's a little bit better. All right, so let's go, go, go. No, no, no. Give me your egg. All right, that again is not doing what I want it to do. Let's throw it up. Oh God! Let's throw it. There you go. Cool. All right. Let's come on, Triacnid. Get out of the goop. Get out of the goop. Okay. Here we go. Cool. Come on. There. All right. Fantastic. All right. I guess that kind of works too. Um. All right. Huge, huge input lag. Yeah. No. That's not what I was trying to do. But fine. Oh, I guess what we're supposed to do is go up this way? <laughs> uh, I think Triacnid's broken. <laughs> yes, I don't believe he works anymore. Alright, let's, let's, let's dis disassemble this piece. Oh, God. I think we may have uh, broken our Triacnid. Okay, there we go. Fantastic. That is what I like to see. Alright, so let's, let's just move him up here. Yeah, let's attach this way. And then, then we can dis disassemble here. So I guess our path is supposed to be over here. Oh, nope. Okay, Trachnid. There you go. Catch it. Ah, oh, just... You just catch it! Oh, we're so close. All right. Come on, Trachnid. Oh, damn it. Why'd you have to attach there? You're a son of a bitch, you know that? All right. So let's go ahead and disassemble this fella. Okay, there we go. That is what I like to see. All right, so... Now, I, I realize that we do not have our egg sack. Uh, however, I am just trying to see if this is, in fact, the right way to go about this. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this does appear to be the right way. I guess I should have known... Whoa! Oh, I wanted to murder that thing. No such luck, though. Tragnid appears to be shaking in fear. There we go. Okay. There we go, Triacnid. Yeah! Fantastic. You are a disgusting animal. Yeah. Okay, so where where do I go from here? I really don't know. Uh, well, let's firstly attach there. Now let's get up onto this thing again, because that did seem to be the highest path that we could go on. And let's... Where else are we supposed to go? Am I supposed to just, like, gun it and jump? I don't think I know how to do that. All right, let's, let's, you know, let's spring out as far as possible. Go! 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 Oh, yeah, you're supposed to, like, jump it. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. God, I don't know. I'm not really sure! We're getting to the scenario, the area in which... I may have to <laughs> give up on Dragnet to a later date till I can fully understand exactly what I'm meant to be doing here. Uh, but uh, I'm attempting. I'm trying my best here. Oh God! All right. So this this th that just basically led me. Oh, that probably hurt. I understand. You walked your face into it. So I think what I'm supposed to do is. I think I could put my feet in the spikes, I just can't put my head. 
in the spikes. That's that's what it that's what I think is going on here. No, the feet still hurt. Oh come on. Attach. There we go. Why did that hurt? Come on, Tragnish. Yeah, no. I don't uh I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what to do there. I really don't. So I think Okay, carry things in your mouth. Bring objects to your mouth and releasing it will allow you to carry things in your mouth. Okay. Locate the hidden switch to open the cave. Hidden switch? Well, let's, if, it, if it's so hidden, well, firstly, let's bring this up to our mouth. No, no, no. Come on. There you go. Pick it up. Bring it up. Okay, triacnid. Chill the fuck out. There we go. Okay, bring it up to my mouth. Okay, now it's attached to our mouths. Cool. Let's go this way. Hup. Let's let's see. Okay, there's definitely not a hidden switch over there. So let's keep moving. It could be over here. So let's let's see. Uh. Whoop. Okay. What are we looking at here? Hidden switch. Hidden switch. Hidden switch. I see no hidden switch. Oh, I don't want to go in there again. All right, let's let's get Triacnid upright. I guess I can't like that. This was the. Oh man, I'm at a loss here. Let's let's keep going. No, no, no. Okay, input lag. All right, come on. There you go. All right, I guess I did that. All right. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, cool. Okay. I'm. What I'm not really getting is how to move with W A S and D to get Triacnid to do stuff. To be honest, uh, that that does appear to be a concern for me. All right, come on. There you go. Oh yeah, Triacnid. Okay, lots and lots of input lag. I cannot find this hidden switch though. Didn't switch to access the cave. I don't. I don't know. I don't know where it could be. I don't know where I'm supposed to be looking. I suppose up by the, where those rocks are. But like we did, like explore all that area. Oh God, please, just give me stop with the input lag. All right. No, 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 no. Stop it. Oh God, just get on in there. Why are you not attaching? Is it attached? Okay, it's attached. Cool. Just keep going. Let's please keep going. There we go. Cool. Whoop. Alright. I did that literally about a second. Yeah, wow. That was a while ago that I did that. Let's see. Let's count the input lag. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Three seconds of input lag. That's, uh... I'm starting to think that I cannot run Triacnid very well. Or at least maybe not while recording? I don't know, man. It is throwing off the gameplay a bit for me, I will be honest. So are those guys the hidden switches? Is that what I'm supposed to be learning here? Ah! Maybe that's what maybe that's what it is. Those guys are the hidden switches, but I can't seem to I'm just going to wait for them. Come on, fellas. Make your move. Make your move. I'm not even here. Just pretend I'm not here. Yeah! Okay, well, with the three-second input lag, yeah, there's going to be no way I could hit those guys to test that. So, I think, uh, <laughs> I think I may have, uh, oh, God, he's so close. Just hit him. You know what? I'm just going to have to keep doing this just so that I can hit him eventually. No, it doesn't appear to be the case. Well, I think I'm going to have to hold off on Triacnid until I can figure it out. Oh, there goes the exact. Let's catch it in air. Ah, oh, get him. Get him. Oh, that didn't do anything. I hit him. Ah, I totally hit him. All right, so that's definitely not the hidden switch then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm even, I'm even right-clicking to try to try to hit him, and it's not really doing anything. Maybe it seems like it's kind of... Yeah, if I'm not touching them... No, no, grab him. Yeah, grab him, grab him, grab him! It's not really doing anything. 
Yeah, I, I can't really. Yeah, I think I think we may want to hold off, especially since our exact never came back down. I think uh, we may want to hold off on the track until someone in the comments can perhaps uh, explain to me what I'm supposed to be doing, especially on this section. Oh God damn it! No, no, no! Just the tat. Ah, oh. all right. That's uh, that's enough triagnid for now. Perhaps next episode uh, we will try a different game, or or if someone really knows what's going on there, then uh, please let me know. We, we can take a look, by the way. A post of triagnid to be seen on the arcade wall in the Binding of Isaac. I did know that. I saw that. Uh, so let's see. We got ether. Lots of bonus content. You know, I never even uh, showed you any of this stuff. Let's let's look at the bonus content for coil real quick. Character sketches, coil... Ooh, coil deleted scene. You know, let's do that. Oh, this is from Indie Game the Movie. Um, and then around that time... ...was when, um... ...my stepdad, he got cancer. And, uh, and then he passed away. I started working on this game called Coil. I was trying to make a game based around... ...vaguely based around, um my mom's, the way my mom was dealing with the death of her husband, and uh, this was a weird one because I, I was playing, like looking back it's not a game that I really like that much, but I learned a lot from it. I was playing around with storytelling with abstract gameplay and a parallel story that was text, and it, I think it just confused people more than anything else. So I had, a, I had this very vague poem-esque story that was about a woman who was being haunted or followed by this other figure which was supposed to represent death. She became obsessed with it and it kind of like ran her into the ground. It was like a downward spiral. But then on the other side you've got the gameplay is like a, it goes from like conception to the embryo growing and then as it grows and you play through all these different things and the whole idea of the gameplay was that you weren't instructed on what to do because that's kind of how life is you learn more from the experience than you do from being told how to do things. And that was kind of the, the basis of the whole game. It was like, I want to make a game that was based on what I believed is important in life. How important certain things are to experience yourself um, without somebody holding your hand through them. And uh, that was the game that I got to try that with. And it was weird. And uh, a lot of people seemed to really like it. But... Um, it seemed to just kind of fall into that, like, it was left up to interpretation, and, and a lot of people interpreted some crazy things out of it, which I thought was cool at the time, but now I look back and I think it was more of a crutch of me just saying, yeah, you know, whatever you think. <laughs> like, sure, that's what it is. I know, I, I, I do like elements of it. I, I feel like I, I did a pretty good job on it, um, but in the end it was just a, another block to the next game which was Ether. Yeah. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Uh, you know, I what I want to say is if you want to listen to a man uh, speak about video games and stuff, listen to Ed McMillan. You can you find interviews all over the internet. I watched this one three-hour interview with Ed McMillan, and uh, it was really, really enlightening. Uh, just you know, him speaking about game design. He really is very informed, and, uh... It's a very interesting character. And, uh, you know, indie game royalty. I mean, these kind of games show it. I don't understand Triagnet, to be honest with you. But it seems to be, like, his first game, so I'll give him, I'll give him that. Uh, so... You know. Oh, this is the game... Actually, ABGM comes with a life-changing revelation. He mentioned this on, uh, on Twitter, I think. Interesting. Uh, because he was talking about uh, Peter Molyneux. Anyway, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, despite the fact that there was almost no progress in Triacnid. But, you know, let me know if, uh, if you uh, know what it's all about. <laughs> what I'm really supposed to be doing. We still have four more games to unlock, also. Uh, we still have Meat Boy to look forward to. Ether, he said he made after Coil, so that's pretty cool, so I will definitely check that out. Time Fuck, I'm excited for. Spewer seems cool, although I feel like my computer may not be able to do that with, um, rendering as well. So we'll see, and Grey Matter seems pretty cool too, somebody mentioned that. Uh, and there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of bonus content and stuff too, so, you know, let me know if you guys want to see more of that kind of stuff. I, I don't, I think that's the only piece of video, um, 
there? Well, maybe not. Yeah, I saw it. You see, there's another video here. Oh, yeah, so there's a lot of indie game, the movie, deleted scenes stuff. Cool. Uh, so... <coughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, <coughs> jeez, and rice. All right, well, I guess that's, uh, that's a good enough place to end it on my uh, inevitable death uh, from a uh, crushing fever uh, very soon. Uh, so, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully I don't die. But, uh, you know, I guess you'll know if uh, another video ever comes out. So, anyway, this is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peace, fools.